Hello everyone and welcome to the Brick Formula review of LEGO Set 9486 Oil Rig Escape it has 422 pieces for ages 6 to 12 as from the Cars 2 series brought to you by Disney and Pixar and this set retails for $49.99 and here in the front you can see that Grimm has some pretty poor aiming and on the side here we have the characters and on the back we have their names too I'll talk about them later and in the back we also see some of the playable features too and I'll talk about this set in more detail coming up. Here are the characters and first up is Professor Z which you may have seen before from the Big Bentley bust out set and he is pretty much built exactly the same way except that he's missing a robotic arm over there and he has a different face this time around where he looks pretty scary maybe a little bit horrified and disturbed. I guess he woke up one morning and realized he had no hair on top. Up next is Finn McMissile, and this time we get him in his hydrofoil mode, which are these things down here, and it's pretty cool. I'm actually glad that they make him different each time around because as much as I like him, I don't want to have a few identical versions of him. And here's what he looks like all around. There's the back, here's the side, and he comes armed with a flick fire missile and a machine gun, which is pretty standard stuff. And here's the view of the front, where we have a spy camera right there, which is pretty useful. I guess you can use it to zoom in to see what the professor is up to. Or he could use it to see what happened to his poor friend Leland Turbo. As you can see he got squeezed by lemons. Usually it's the other way around in real life. But this right here is a printed piece and we do get two stickers to go on the sides of the box there where we have a cracked window and it looks like it got squished like an aluminum foil. I guess his spying days are over. Actually not quite. He can still keep an eye on things. So he's perfect for stakeouts. Next we have Grem who looks fine except that I think they should have added stickers for the sides in the back there because they look pretty plain see but at least we get printing for his eyes and his mouth where he looks pretty devious I'm gonna guess this because he likes to burn things and then finish them off with a missile for good measure and finally we have the crane I'll admit I find his name to be unoriginal but speak of the crane as you can see it can hold up by itself pretty well but we do have this thing to help prop it up which is pretty useful for the heavy loads like the container and as you can see it looks pretty unhappy and I guess I can understand why you can't really move around except that you can move a full 360 degrees which is not fun if you only do it once and now to check out the oil rig I gotta say it looks pretty good for a playset for now I'll show you guys what it looks like all around and it looks like you already met the crane and here's again holding a fuel canister next to him we have Leland Turbo trying to blend in and these are all the accessories that you get with the playset. We have a portable flick fire missile, which can rotate a full 360. We also have this piece, which you can use to attach to the fuel canister. So this way the crane can move it around, or you can attach this to the green container. We also have two crates. This one we got a sticker to go on top, where we have the laser camera. And for the other crate, we have the car parts. What's cool about this oil rig is that you can open up and it splits in half and it opens pretty loosely there's no mechanism to keep it closed or anything and over here we have a control panel which can come out pretty easily because it's just attached by one stud there and we get a sticker that goes across there and it says danger that usually means you shouldn't touch it but you'll probably mess with that anyway and then going up we have another platform and right here we have a launcher and this is where you can launch away your fuel canisters they'll usually end up in the water so it's probably something you shouldn't do in the first place and going up we have the flame here which you can spin I honestly don't see how that's fun but that's definitely a play feature that you can play with if you get a kick out of it and going back here we have the helipad and you can turn this knob to bring the string up and down and this is what you use to pull up the cars out of the water now the thing about this design I actually have some mixed feelings about it the reason why I say that is because, for one, it's a modular design, which is good. It gives you the flexibility of rebuilding the oil rig any way you like. The only problem is, is that if you notice earlier, if I have all the accessories and modules on top of the oil rig, it kind of limits the play features because it feels really packed and, and cluttered. So, for that reason, I think the oil rig should have been a little bit larger, maybe like two more squares, or maybe three by three. But then again, it is a pretty good size. So I'm thinking that you're probably not supposed to have all of the modules on top while you're playing. Let's say for example, you want Professor Z to play with the control panel. He would have to sit here and actually flip the switch. But this was over there earlier, so it kind of blocks the way. Another example would be when you're trying to 
use the container. So let's say you want the crane to lift it up around. We have to pick it up, and then this kind of blocks the way, unless you want to just drop this in the water. So ideally, you really can't have all the stuff on top of the oil rig while you're playing with it. But then again, being that's a modular design, maybe that was their intention in the first place. In the end, I think it's not that fun for the older kids because of that. Well, I personally like to have everything on top, but I think for the younger kids, it's probably not a problem because I think shuffling the modules around might be a fun thing. So who knows? But anyway, to finish up the 360 view, here's the other side of the control room. And we have a chain here, and there we go. Now we can move on to the recommendations. Overall, I would say this is an okay set. Starting with the value is actually pretty good because we have a price per piece ratio of 11.8 cents per piece, which is not bad for a license set. But we are getting about 59 to $96 worth of parts here, which is pretty good since this retails for 50. I especially like how we get eight of these half cylinders right there in darkstone gray color because they're somewhat of a rarity and they're pretty good for shifts and all kinds of aircrafts. And when it comes to the play value, I totally recommend it to the younger kids because they're the ones that will have the most fun out of this playset. We do have a good number of characters, which is a huge plus, and the oil rig just by itself has a pretty decent number of play features. So it's definitely a set that the younger kids will totally enjoy. And that sums up my review. I hope you guys enjoyed the show, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.